If you or someone you know is one of the millions of people taking amlodipine or Novask to manage high blood pressure or other heart conditions, then you have come to the right place. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions about amlodipine. What should I avoid while taking amlodipine? It's an important question and I'm here to shed some light on it so you can make an informed decision. Amlodipine is often prescribed as the first treatment choice for high blood pressure. It belongs to a group of medications known as calcium channel blockers, which work by making blood vessels wider and more relaxed. However, like any other medication, amlodipine can cause side effects such as flushing, dizziness, and edema, which is swelling caused by fluid buildup in your body. That's why it's important to be mindful of the things we are about to discuss as they can potentially worsen these side effects. Now, the first on the list is simvastatin. This is a medication commonly used to treat high cholesterol. However, when taken together, amlodipine has the potential to increase the levels of simvastatin in your blood. As a result, it can increase the risk of muscle-related side effects such as muscle pain and rhabdomyolysis, which is a fancy word for muscle breakdown. And here's a bonus tip. It's important to be aware that a similar interaction can occur with another statin medication called lovastatin. And to minimize this risk, it is recommended to limit the daily dose of simvastatin to 20 mg when taken alongside amlodipine. By being mindful of this interaction, you can take steps to communicate with your doctor to make sure your blood pressure and cholesterol are managed more safely and effectively. Number two, grapefruit. Don't get me wrong, grapefruits are nutritious and delicious, but they can mess with amlodipine. You see, amlodipine is broken down by special enzymes in your body. The thing is, Different people have different levels of these enzymes in their bodies. So when you eat grapefruit or drink grapefruit juice while taking amlodipine, it can affect you in different ways. And here's the deal. Grapefruit can block the action of these important enzymes. When that happens, the drug stays in your body for longer and more amlodipine can enter your bloodstream than intended. This can lead to stronger effects of amlodipine as well as more significant side effects. And that's not what we want. So to be safe, it's best to avoid consuming grapefruit or grapefruit juice while taking amlodipine. By doing so, you can ensure that your treatment is effective and minimize the risk of experiencing unwanted side effects. Number three, alcohol. I totally get it if you are wondering about the whole alcohol and amlodipine situation. You may be thinking, but why? It's just a little drink. Well, let me break it down for you. Alcohol can actually increase the risk of dizziness or drowsiness that amlodipine may cause. And guess what? It can even mess with your blood pressure and heart rate which is the opposite of what you want when you are taking this medication. So it's best to skip alcohol while taking amlodipine. And trust me, your body will thank you for making this smart choice. So let's raise a glass for something non-alcoholic and say cheers to your good health. Number four, sildenafil. Most people know sildenafil as Viagra which is a medication often used to treat erectile dysfunction. So how does it work? Well, it relaxes the blood vessels, allowing increased blood flow to the male organ for a stronger erection. Sildenafil also goes by another name, Rivesio, and it's used to improve the blood flow to the lungs for people with pulmonary hypertension. But why should you avoid taking sildenafil and amlodipine together? And here's the deal. Combining the two is like getting a double dose of blood vessel relaxation because both medications relax blood vessels. 
This can cause your blood pressure to drop too low, leaving you feeling dizzy or even fainting. We call this hypotension. I'm sure you will agree, that's not the outcome you want. And that's why it's so important to keep an eye on your blood pressure and to have open conversation with your doctor if you are taking these medications. Number five, St. John's Wort. This is a popular natural supplement that people use for mood disorders. St. John's Wort is well known for causing interactions with medications. It can have a big effect on how well other medications work. And when it comes to amlodipine, it can affect how well it can control your blood pressure. So how is this possible? Well, it makes your body get rid of amlodipine faster, which can make it less effective. And that's not what you want to see, especially when the main reason for taking amlodipine is to keep your blood pressure under control. And here is another important point. St. John's wort can also make other medications stronger which can cause more dangerous side effects. Now, for those of you who have heart disease and take blood thinners like Warfarin, Eliquis, Pradaxa, and Zorelto, you should avoid St. John's Wort supplements due to an increased risk of bleeding. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is power, and you have the power to make informed choices for your health. Keep shining bright and keep being amazing. Thanks for watching.